Okay, so these questions are pretty standard and pretty simple, but let's do one as an example. Kevin can afford to pay off 34000 every four months on a loan. Assuming there are no hidden costs, hidden costs will mess up these calculations a bit, but assuming there are no hidden costs, what is the value of the loan that Kevin can get at that amount if he pays it back over 25 years and the bank charges him 10.9% interest per annum compounded every four months? Okay, so just my advice is to always draw a timeline. So here's our timeline. Oh. A skew timeline. Here's our timeline. Okay, 25 years. Okay, so there's one here, two here, and I'm not going to do all of them, but it goes up for 25 years. He pays off 34,000 every four months. So it's not yearly, it's every four months. And there are three such sets in one year. So 34,000. 34,000 and 34,000. Okay, just a basic idea. And every year he is charged 10.9% interest. Okay, so this is times zero. And we want to know what is the value of the loan that Kevin can get. And you'll remember that I said the value of a loan, of an amount borrowed, is the present value of such an annuity. So we know that the formula that we must work with is this formula x1 one minus 1 plus i to the power of negative n divided by i. Okay, do we know what the present value of this loan is that he is getting? No, we don't. Do we know the amount that he is paying back with? Yes, it's 34,000 every four months. Okay, do we know the interest rate that is applicable? Yes, it's 10.9% interest every four months. But I am not, get, uh, sorry, 10.9% every year. I'm not getting it yearly. I'm getting it every four months, which means I must, if I have 12 months in the year and I get it every four months, that means I get it three times in the year. So I must divide this 10.9 by three and then also divide it by 100 because it's 10.9%. So I'm dividing with 300 and n is the number of payments he's going to make and in this case it's for 25 years three times a year which means 75 payments okay so let's just get rid of that so let's substitute okay so into my formula pn is equal to 34,000 1 minus in the bracket 1 plus 10.9 over 300 to the power of and now very important negative 75 close that bracket and divide with 10.9 over 300 Great, let's go and calculate what is the value of the loan he can get. So we have 34,000 times in the bracket 1 minus, sorry, 1 minus 1, actually, 1 minus, and in brackets 1 plus 10.9 divided by 300 close that bracket and that bracket has an exponent of 75 but with a negative close that bracket once again and all of this gets divided by this bottom bracket which is 10.9 divided by 300 okay, there we go our answer is 871,405 871,405 
it's 71,405. And just so that we are uh, accurate, comma, 35 cents. Okay, this is how much the bank will award him right away if he is willing to pay or able to pay 34,000 Rand every four months for 25 years.